Last of McDonald's orange juice. Here we go. There it is. Sorry, it's just the blankets over here. The smudge made a little bed out of them. Hey, what's up, guys? As you probably know, maybe your favorite YouTube here. Yes, it is snowing like heck outside. I said heck. That's nowhere near a swear word. Yes, I am wearing a t-shirt and shorts right now. For complicated reasons, okay? This is so weird, because... Like, I have the camera flipped so that I can see what you guys are seeing. And, like, this side of my face is lit up, which makes sense, because the white snow from there, more light is coming this way. But to me, it looks like it's coming from my left side, which is weird. Okay, anyway, so, I celebrate Second Doctor Month. Instead of me doing what I did for the second video of First Doctor Month, which is me just kind of going through all the DVDs, since it's kind of what I do in Part 4 anyway, I'm doing my top five worst stories. And since I didn't do so for First Doctor, here are my top... More. Here are my top five... Here are my top five worst First Doctor stories. At number five, we have my video transfer to DVD of The Gunfighters. I'm putting this on number five because it's not that bad. First Doctor stories are kind of pretty decent. But once you get into the bad ones, you're getting into the bad ones. And this is just a Doctor Who musical, and I don't like musicals, and I think I just made a slight rainbow. Hmm. Uh, I don't like it. It's just a really odd thing to watch, and I would watch it again. Just not exactly one that I jumped to. And when I make the weird rainbow thing, hey, it's, like, it's making some sort of a pattern on the wall, or, or maybe... Maybe my camera has to be here in order for that to happen. I'm trying to see if I can make it happen again. Yeah, look at that. Can, can you see that? The, the little pattern on the wall there. At number four, we have the Sensorites. If you want, you can go check out my review of the Sensorites. Editing it went a little bit off, and I tried to explain that through annotations, which YouTube has decided to get rid of. But, uh, basically, kind of... Starts off with me being asleep. Story's over. Great. Yeah, the sensor is, I don't know, six parts long, far too long. It's an okay thing to watch, thank god. Could you imagine the sensor is its own TV show? But yeah, it's basically a six episode TV show where nothing really happens. At number three, we have my video transfer DVDs of The Web Planet. For obvious reasons, the costumes are ridiculous. I mean, I said this multiple times. In the 70s, they had bad special effects. In the 60s, they just had no special effects. That scene where they're just going, Zabi! And in fact, this is the only First Doctor story where in my review, I didn't watch it. Like, in my reviews from an unearthly child right through to the um, the Romans, I basically did a detailed plot summary. I wasn't really very much reacting to it, and the only scenes that I really showed were cliffhangers and other scenes. Uh, for the Crusades, up until uh, Galaxy 4, Mission to the Unknown, I watched the story first and then filmed a quick like 20 minute or so review of it. Then I moved on to reactions around the Mission to the Unknown of the Myth Makers. This one, though, I was considering for a moment just doing my reviews from just saying what I remember, which was a bad idea, because there's a lot of episodes that I just don't remember or I haven't seen yet. So I think showing my reaction is kind of cool. But The Web Planet, I didn't even bother watching it for my review. I literally just said it from my memory. Another reason why this story sucks is that I almost have one, uh, my beginning deep releases upstairs. So that'd be one, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. DVDs in a row, but nope, the web planet comes in and screws it up on the very last DVD too, because it goes right here, I said right here, it goes freaking right here, look mates, I'm not asking very much, I'm literally asking for you to just, there we go, oh my goodness, oh, uh, on a little bit of an angle there, and number two we have my reconstruction of the smuggler, it's just boring, it's a historical, I didn't even understand what happened with it even after my review. Honorable mentions include pretty much every historical except the Romans, because I just find them boring. And at number one, we have the Massacre of Santa Bartholomew's Eve. 
I was considering putting the smugglers at number one for a moment, but this just really put me to sleep and I just don't understand what's happening and it's missing and all that and literally nothing survives except for crappy audio soundtrack with no telesnaps or clips or nothing. Maybe they'll animate it, but I don't think they will because it's not exactly a well-known one. Can you imagine once the BBC has animated all the missing episodes, like the good ones, like they've animated like uh, all those, and then all of a sudden they, they're resorting to animating the ones that no one has heard about. Can you imagine them advertising the massacre of St. Bartholomew? That might work, but just imagine when they try to advertise them animating the smugglers. So that was my top five worst first director stories. Here are my five. Here are my top five worst second doctor stories. I should stand in the middle. Sorry, it's just the blankets over here. The smudge made a little bed out of them. At number five, listen. I actually struggled for a few minutes trying to find which are my top five worst because I was going through and I'm like, okay, the power of the Daleks is not. Uh, Highlanders maybe. Uh, underwater menace. Mm. Moonbase I liked, Macro Terror I liked, Faceless Ones I liked, Evil of the Daleks I liked, Tomb of the Cybermen I liked, oh my goodness, and I just kept on going through them. And there's only like, okay, there's 29 first Doctor stories, how many second Doctor stories are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, yeah, the seventh Patrick Trenton story is the seventh part of the Evil of the Daleks. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21, 21 stories, excuse me. So yeah, there was 21. Oops, I'm sorry. I, someone walked in through the door, so I had to stop, and then they went up to take a shower, and then I started watching The Good Place, and I was like, wait a minute, this is the perfect time to start filming. Why are so many lights on? When it's so bright outside. Okay. Can you still see me? I guess I can use a little bit of light here. I would just turn on the lamp over there, but that's that lamp, because the lamp that was here was broken, so we had to put the lamp that was over there over here. Okay, so as I was saying, there are only really three stories in the Patrick Troughton era that make me go, oh, why was this made? So, in order to pull out a fourth and a fifth, I had to go into the decent territory. So what I put for number five and number four, I actually think are fairly decent stories. They're just the bottom of the decent. I'm not calling them bad or unenjoyable, I'm just saying these are the fifth and the fourth worst. At number five, it's actually a tie, because I couldn't pick between Fury from the Deep and the Crotons. I know the Fury from the Deep is liked by a lot of people. I know that He Who Moans is, says that's his favorite Doctor Who story of all time. Lots and lots of times. I remember once he uh, he listed like his top three stories. Number one was Fury from the Deep, number two was uh, Life 34, and number three was The Chimes of Midnight. Later he listed his top five. Number one was Fury from the Deep, number two was The Chimes of Midnight, number three was The Holy Terror, number four was The Daleks Master Plan, number five was The Wet Plan. But, these two, I think, are fairly decent, and I would watch them again, but I just didn't find them that enjoyable. Oh, and this is a reconstruction. This is the official DVD. Because there isn't an official D uh, DVD release of Fury from the Deep yet. At number four, I decided to put The Abominable Snowman, just because it's a little bit less enjoyable than the other two. Yes, it introduces the Yeti and Professor Travis. I wish that Professor Travis was in the invasion, but he wasn't. They mentioned him, but they couldn't get him. It just feels odd. But as the story is just, you know. Also, apparently Stuart Review stuff point out that the scream that Patrick Troughton does is uh, actually the only time that we see the second Doctor who doesn't seem in control of the situation. Like, yeah, there are scenes in the Crotons where he's just like, we are friends, uh, th that's okay. But he always seemed calm and collected, like he knew what he was doing, except for that scream in the part six of the Bobble Snowman. At number three, we have The Underwater Menace, just because, you know, it was created, they tried something, but still, why was this made? And also, the reconstruction is crap. Go watch my review, where I talk more about why this reconstruction was crap. So, I, I, they just literally took telesnaps and just stuck them in where they're supposed to be without any editing at all. Uh, at number two, I picked up all three discs for a moment, but at number two is The Highlanders. I have two discs, because this one, 
uh, get stuck. I said this multiple times in my DVD collection videos, but here's my original Power of the Daleks reconstruction. And it get, the visuals get stuck in the middle of part six, even though the audio keeps going. Here is the other reconstruction of the Power of the Daleks that doesn't get stuck. Here is the animation of the Power of the Daleks with a telesnap tele reconstruction and also uh, uh, PDF files or whatever in it. And then here is the Highlanders that get stuck in the middle of part four, and here's the Highlanders that doesn't get stuck at all. And for the heck of it, here's my underwater menace reconstruction that doesn't get stuck at all, but now I have the official DVD release, even though this reconstruction is slightly better. Whew, anyway. Yeah, I, I have them in order like this. Stuck Power of the Dallas reconstruction, uh, stuck Highlanders reconstruction, official Power of the Dallas release, Regular Power of the Docks really the reconstruction, regular Highlanders reconstruction, and then underwater mass regular Highlanders reconstruction, and then underwater mass reconstruction and underwater mass official DVD release. And underwater mass The Highlanders is just boring. I don't really know what to tell you. But number one, I'm pretty sure we can all guess it if I said that I had to reach into fairly decent, and we all know this isn't better than the Crotons Fury from the Deeper Leave Bomb Snowman. The Space Pirates. Really boring. I fell asleep in the middle of it. I literally couldn't pay attention to it. When I was starting my review, I was thinking, oh, okay, I'm finally going to understand the, what's going on in this story. And then I came out of the story and I was like, that was six episodes. And I feel like I still don't know anything about what happens in it. I think the only piece of information that I gained from this that I didn't know from it before is that part three ends with the Doctor and his companions falling into a hole. And I only remember that because Stuart Review stuff listed that as one of the best cliffhangers in Doctor Who of all time. Don't ask me why. Oh, see, also you also got five nice DVDs in a row. The Invasion, the Crotons, the Seed of Death, the War Games, and the Patrick Trenton Lost in Time. And this guy comes in. <sighs> anyway, those are my top five worst first Doctor and second Doctor stories. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comments down below what your worst stories are and more best stories are. And go check out my channel. Thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, if you did, please like. So if you enjoyed it, if you didn't, please, please leave a dislike. So if you did enjoy it, leave a comment down below if you want to talk about it. Because if you lost, I guess motivation, encouragement. If you didn't like it, please leave a comment down below saying why you didn't like. So I can improve for next time. Otherwise, we won't be able to improve. Just gonna treat your dislikes before we like and subscribe so you know when my next video comes out. Thanks again for watching, and as always, I will see you next time. Bye bye.